Hello, my beautiful pumpkins. I hope that you are having a blessed Bielton. There are many videos out there about the details of Bielton, but today I wanted to talk about ways that you can celebrate Bielton without drawing attention to yourself. So if you are not able to be open about your faith or your curiosity in neopaganism, this is an excellent way for you to commemorate the day. I want to Bielton takes place on the eve of April 30th to the eve of May 1st because the Celtic day starts at dusk. It is one of the four Celtic fire festivals and is considered one of the hinges of the year, the other hinge of the year being Samhain. In fact, those in the southern hemisphere are currently celebrating Samhain. As the ancient Celts were an agrarian society, most of their holidays and special days are not only related to the gods, but also are associated with agrarian practices. And Bielten is no different. As it's the hinge of the year, the year can almost be divided into two sections, farming and not farming. So Bielten marks the beginning of the planting season. Now I live in southwestern Ontario, I think we're in region four for planting, so it's a little too early for most crops, but there's certainly a lot that can be done to celebrate the beginning of this season. In saying that, gardening is one way that you can celebrate Bielton. Quite often, as today in my area, it is raining on Bielton. This can put a bit of a damper on some outdoor plans, but if it's just a light rain, put on a raincoat, put on some rain boots, grab an umbrella, and you can certainly get outside today. If it's not raining, the most traditional way to celebrate is with a fire. Fire is an incredibly important part of Druidry. In fact, the inclusion of flame may be what separates druid rituals from non-druid rituals. In ancient times, there would be two bonfires and they would pass between the fires and even walk their cattle between the fires to bless them and cleanse them for the coming year. The maypole, though not practiced by the ancient Celts, has become associated with Bielton and is a fertility ritual. Bielton is highly associated with rather lusty practices and it's not unusual for people who practice neopaganism to want to get their groove on, so to speak, out in the woods. However, if you think that Bielten is just about getting it on in the woods, then you've probably lost the meaning of the holiday. However, if you are trying to conceive, this would be an excellent time of year to put those effort, efforts forward. If you're not trying to conceive, well, you're an adult and you know how to control that. Traditionally, this is a day where you don't lend anything. You don't give anything to anyone else and expect to return. This also includes fire. It's very important that you not lend fire to someone. Well, what's lending fire in today? Offering someone a light on their cigarette. Many druids also fast strawberries from Samhain to Bieltana. So if you are like me and you fast strawberries for six months of the year, today is a day you can break your strawberry fast. And let me tell you, that first strawberry tastes so good. When my daughter was young, we would have a fairy picnic on Bielton, and this is a great way to celebrate with kids. That is something that's not so obvious to the rest of the world, and we would celebrate with little finger sandwiches. Sometimes I would take a cookie cutter and cut the sandwiches. We like to have cucumber and dill with cream cheese. We would take little pretzel sticks, dip them in white chocolate or icing, and cover them in sprinkles. Those would be our fairy wands. We would drink sarsaparilla also known today as root beer, and enjoy elderflower drink. There's a brand you can usually get in the organic section of the grocery store called Green Bottle, and they do have an elderflower sparkling beverage that is alcohol-free. You can repot your plants today, tension. So if there's something that you want to grow in your life, so if you're trying to manifest wealth, you could put gold in the bottom. Where do you get gold? The craft store, go in the jewelry section. If it was love that you wanted to manifest, perhaps you can plant some seeds that are associated with love such as basil. Another family-friendly activity that you could do that is not so obvious is taking a hike. You can talk to your kids about the signs of spring. How are things different than how they were on the first day of spring in March in your area? How are they going to be different from the way things will be on the first day of summer in six weeks? Around here, the trees are just starting to bloom. The daffodils are out in full glory. 
and and little baby animals can be seen. Typically, by the time the buds are on the trees, the trails are a lot less muddy. I hope this gives you some great ideas of how you and your family can practice Bialton without necessarily having to come out of the broom closet if you're not ready. Have a wonderful Bialton, and may you pray with a good fire. Bye, pumpkins.